talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. Well, Chuck, you and throw you outside that goddamn window. And you, and you? You don't even deserve to be a part of- And you smoking? Hey! Put that cigarette out in here! <laughs> to robocop rogue city what episode is this four five i don't know we 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 we're making a lot of progress over here we look good for the platinum i ain't gonna lie but off top we gotta out shoot out score these damn robots over here we already seen these let's get right to it continue forward and efficiency challenge if i have to restart this Contact! Counter! Damn, the OCP better than me? Open the gate for the Ed 209 units. We'll I lost! The area. I lost! Hold on, what's this? This time is 11 30. Okay. I lost, and I lost, baby. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We might have one more shot, though. Seemed a little short. So good. You should be heading towards the vault. It's through the office area. Please put down your weapon. Through the office area. Please put down your weapon. Wait a second. Am I just cutting through here? Your weapon. Skill points. I'm, I'm telling y'all right. Move out the way, man. Bro. Okay. The good thing about this is it when you change circuits, it saves your configuration. So I switched to 3.3. This shit gives me something called the auto feeder. I never have to reload my gun. Ever. It's just it just I can shoot an unlimited number of times. Took me a couple tries, but. Hopefully that did it. Gate in lockdown mode in front of you. Find a way to get past it. Try finding the weakest spot in the wall around the gate and breach through that. Right, before we do that, let me make sure I check everything. All right, 
There gotta be something back here. No? You're right, nothing? Hell no, really? But that's kind of tough. All right, whatever. running up to everybody. around here hey i won gotta do those all day like i say that's free xp free skill points we trying to max out the whole skill tree <laughs> I think the bank heist mission is supposed to be a little shorter. Robocop, I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault. Where exactly is it? Find the manager's office, and we'll go from there. It's at the far end of the office area. Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. Explain. Delta City. A heaven on earth that OCP plans to build in place of old Detroit? A city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. You can go, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Anyway, the city owes you. And I owe you too. Loosen them pants up around this facility. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that switch to be installed somewhere around my desk. 
Oh, it's right there. Hey, this is right here. What kind of share is this, bro? I think I seen this shit at Staples. Not Staples, at uh, Ikea. The Marcus. That motherfucker got the Marcus sitting up in here. Now, take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. All right, the game's telling us to go that way, so we're not going to do that. What's back here? I thought it was something special. I didn't know it was just another way to get out of here. You gotta look, you gotta, you gotta open up every door, check every crevice, cause you miss shit. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard earned savings. We're opening this vault with or without your help, you old nut job. Uh, what is this intricate device? Shut. Life. Robocop, I knew our founder would send his best. <clears throat> We're not done yet. Mr. Becker, you're, you're still alive. I only played dead so I didn't end up like you, with a bomb strapped to my body. Robocop, you have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. Do I have, do I have Engineer 4? An opportunity for an ambitious officer. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, I, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. Gosh, I mean, I, I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. Are you looking for a bomb defusing chapter in the police manual? Found it. First rule. Call qualified personnel. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me what you see. All right, well, as long as they ain't got me doing what I had to Four do on, uh, with different on dead to rights. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Four cables, green, two reds, and blue. Four cables? Got it. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Damn, ears are starting to hurt from these air buzz a little bit. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you should detach three cables. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. What? Based on my engineering database, I have determined that the order of detaching the 12-volt cables is irrelevant. So you knew all along? I thought you may learn something here. Okay, then start with the 24-volt connector, then proceed to detach the 12-volt cables. I thought I was gonna blow myself up. When has that ever happened? <laughs> it was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to business? Cause I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. Well, I should really check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. Now, open the vault. Th there you go, sir. 
great. Now out of my way. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource-heavy project. Uh, I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold's back with the money in the next... Well, even. You should be proud to work for such a great man. At this rate, soon there might be no one left to work for him. See what I'm talking about? Well, they had a single gold bar. If it was me, they'd have no gold bars, you know what I mean? The Maori stole all the other shit. What's one more gold bar? Okay, nothing. The chip merge is pretty uh random. I looked it up to see if there was a way to specifically get the, the perfect shapes you want for your little circuit board. But it doesn't seem like there's a certain configuration you can do to get a specific shape. I just leave, I just leave it. It's like my most consistent weapon. I, I haven't seen a reason. You're out of the bank already? I am in pursuit of the remaining bikers. I have followed them into a tunnel. So that's how they must have gotten here in the first place. It seems they're retreating into the old industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. An auto feeder is only for... It's only for, uh, the hangar. Hope you're doing well. You're beasted, sir. We press forward. What you got back here? Nothing? Uh huh.
guy. At least for now. It's nearby. It's the only building with street access in the area, and it's big enough to store their vehicle. It's your best bet to proceed there. Roger that. How many more? How dare I? How dare I forget? But why? We'll pick that up in a second. Alright, we got two skill points to spend. Hold on, before we do that though. This is a cool little mission. A simple mission right here. Get the night vision on because I can't see nothing. Sometimes these levels have uh, gang stashes. I don't think this one has one. If I would have detained the shorty, that's a, like a side quest that you could get uh, XP for. But I didn't detain her. Trying to keep my public points up. I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. Oh 
don't mess with the money. I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Dr. Blanche is already waiting in the observation room. Once it's over, join us in the briefing room. Okay, give me a couple skill points so I can spin. I got two, give me at least two more. Oh, of, uh, that's Detroit shining beacon of hope. I had a side quest to, to cut the lights back on in here. I did it. I, I didn't need to show y'all. So it wasn't a mistake. I'm ready for you, Robo. All right. I'm afraid good. not. Looks All like right, really let's see what's again. cooking under the hood. Who knows what they'll cut next? Once I'm done, Who? he's all yours, Doctor. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Damn. There's a bank secret. I hope there ain't a trophy for that. Did I mess that up? Guys? No, I didn't. B? Man, I'm talking all that shit. I got a B, bro. Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? I serve the public trust. I do not do it for fame. No. Your sense of duty is what drives you, that's clear. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not me. The game constantly has graphical bugs. Characters flicker, I can't fix it. It was cruel. To everyone involved, I'm sure. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. It serves as a reminder of how I failed him. And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? as echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. If you let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. I've got plenty to think about for now. Okay, let's go to the briefing room. We're gonna go, I think it says the next mission is somewhere downtown. sitting in this facility. Let's get another skill point. At the bus stop. Where was the meeting point supposed to be? 
Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh, you're breaking up. <laughs> Am I? I'm, I'm hearing you clearly. <laughs> oh my god, what a lemon. You two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Uh, just having a little fun with our fellow dispatcher. Don't worry, I'm sure the kid has a sense of humor. It's just a little blue hazing. And he's an OCP stooge anyway. You're not going soft on us, are you, Murphy? I'm like, who the fuck is you talking to, bro? Only my friends call me that, bro. You call me Robocop. And your barber's crazy as well. That did not sound like fun. It's not like he didn't deserve it. You know that he runs to Becker with a stack of papers every time you two talk, right? He's a rat. We're just looking out for you, Murphy. We'll choke you and throw you outside that goddamn window. And you? You don't even deserve to be a part of- YOU SMOKING?! HEY! PUT THAT CIGARETTE OUT IN HERE! HE IS SMOKING ON A JOB! IN THE- Oh, bitch, you got to go. Right. He's smoking. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough! Head downtown, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. Robocop! Over here! You wouldn't want to make the mayor of Detroit wait, would you? Oh, shut up, Isaiah Thomas. May I help you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's gonna do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city. And without your consent? That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always appreciated what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? Uh... I am not involved in politics. Well, well, let's not get too hasty. You can still show support for me, right? We're on the same side. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. You can be sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, right, cop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote. Why are you screaming in my face, bro? Shut the fuck up. Robocop is getting a face to face with the old man himself. I tell him all about how hey, the OCP shiny. is fucking us over. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say a word. How are you feeling after the incident at the what? bank? Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading to the city. Once you're out there. I want you to check one apartment for me. There's suspicion of domestic terrorism and corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. 
Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. And remember, if you won't take care of it, another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Yes, 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 yes. Did everything. There was two side quests. We did both of those. I left a bank secret. I might have to replay that. I missed I think we're good. So we're on chapter eight out of 12. Eight out of 12. So we made a lot of progress. I'm telling you, by the time y'all see this, but the whole gang will be up. That's going to be a first. Go to the main mission. Give me a little bit of time to play. Go to all these things I could do. There's tons and tons of missions. I'm gonna do all of these before we continue. Hey, you. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Do you think it's gonna hold his weight? Doesn't matter. Mm. They said, do you think it's gonna hold his weight? The old I wonder man how much weight. Robocop weighs though. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Shut up. I'll show you what a defect is and I'm gonna put you in your mouth. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? Are you asking a machine about dreams? You're selling yourself short, son. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder Has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. That's very humble of you. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems. And it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? I am happy to comply with any activity that improves effectiveness. You're a good sport. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. 
I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. We need to tell some people around here that. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well being. Turn to the streets. I just walk out of here. Is that it? Okay. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. All right, so where's Pickles? Pickles is all the way up here. OCP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. Crackheads all running through the city, running wild. They all in that nuke, and that's the issue. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Now, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Alright, a, a damn... What year is it on here? Is it... Okay. The 80s? Let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. Oh, he damn. Salamon that is! The golden piston for the best picture. I heard that. And it did. Every skin is free XP. You see that?
Oh, that's all? Anything else in here? Make sure we look around, man. You never know. Ain't nothing in here, really? Okay, whatever, man. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Theory. I'm not so sure about that. There is nothing that you cannot come back from. Spoken like a true good shepherd. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Banned by the critics, though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under great pressure. Wait, you think there's a diamond within me? Do you see my shine? I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspiration. But let's get back to it, because that's not our take. I forgot bro's name is Pickles. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. <clears throat> Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. Tax avoidance is a serious crime. That it is. But we're still missing our tape. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. That's all we do now. He has five Xbox Series X. Uh, unnecessary consoles. These is extensions of PS4, Xbox One. This is a whole generation was a waste. Everybody in this bitch paid four five hundred dollars to get scammed. This is one of the few games Robocop isn't even on the PS4. And it, it's not like it's uh you know uh tech technological advances and shit graphically and, and mechanics wise. This could surely make it to the PS4. With all these glitches and bugs it got. Anyway, it ran over, you know what I'm saying? They give hope that there is more. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? <clears throat> tape? What? What to? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, 
action! Crap! Crap! I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? They fucking up his small business. Oh, there ain't no bullets. Look how the gun just came. Look at that. Oh! Wait a second. I'm supposed to be able to ricochet bullets and stuff now. Okay, shoot through that. We got the front door enough. And we got the little side area. Yeah, I'm able to shoot bullets off the walls and stuff now, I believe. We gotta try that out. First, I hear a bunch of movie puns. And then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Pickles really left. Hey, he left left after he got that. Okay. Who's gonna pay for all this? All right. Do I have to go out the back door for this? All right, let's go to Pickle's house or wherever he is. This is a side quest, but the, the first time we did a side quest with Pickles, it was for, for Briggs family and it was it was kind of important or it felt like it was. So I figured we just go ahead and do this one too. Why not? <laughs> I mean, it's two o'clock. I'm gonna try to finish this game by tomorrow. And then I'm gonna post the whole thing to the playlist. Let y'all go crazy in there. And I'll slowly make the videos public over time, like usual. What's going on back here? These are all recently open, you say? You're all right. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it. So they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You will need even more help for lying to me. Shit, I, I don't even know if you're joking or not. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? Okay, Jesse Pinkman. Crackhead mother... You know what? I will Whatever. leave the money with you if you spend it wisely. Uh, that's cold-blooded, man. But thanks anyway. You're my savior, Tim. 
But what do I do with the money that I'm not supposed to spend on drugs? Like I don't know. It's not for it's not for me to figure out. Okay, so we have we have two. I, we have two. We have two. Oh, question either or. All right, whatever. Let's question Spike now. Okay, so now we're headed into the main quest here. Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. I will use the valve. I'm here to get information. You got me doing... Oh, my goodness. Else? I remember earlier there was a thing back here. We couldn't do it because our engineering was too low. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. What else, sir? You know what the problem is? The problem is you got me running around like a damn fool, bro. Hold on, he got me playing full. Hold on, where we at? Let me make sure we're still recording because I'm going to be sick if we're not. Okay, hold up. One. Okay, we're, no, we're good. We're good. This series is going to be short. I'm thinking six episodes, maybe? Something like that? That'd be perfect, though. Get y'all in and get y'all out. Get on to the next shit. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. Man, these motherfuckers got me like, like, like I know any of this. All right, so three more. Points. Is everything we're looking for in the hood? No. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. There's something else over here. I can't get it to register. All right, look at this. Is that what's going on? And there it is. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. <laughs> it started. We own the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't. But he asked me if I do paint jobs too, then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. All right, let's get over to the, where's it? Oh, 
I just get stuck on? Man, this game is weird, bro. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey, man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. Oh, I got no proof? Okay. Okay. Let me, let me go ahead and grab some proof for you. What next? How about that? You're gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto shop. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Alright, we can leave. Slap the shit out you. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Where? The hell he want? Come on! It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player? No. By working alone, I'm only responsible for myself. It's a peculiarity of the position you play. But would you really want to be left alone? As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? No. I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say, has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you prefer to go solo. No, you're a shooting guard, an excellent core player. We will build a team around you and you'll become even more effective. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed, about what we could do for the city. Together, as a team, I count on your support. Uh, whatever, man. Could've, he could have dropped me off over at the mission marker. 
if you want to talk about the, being a team player, we could start off by by you not leaving me all the way back there when I have somewhere to go. He could have asked me for a ride. Dude is a crook, man. You can see it in his eyes, bro. Find the right motorcycle. Okay, let's try to do that then. It's no, there's no way it's this one. This would be too easy. All right, where are the other motorcycles, huh? Our life is not going to be easy. I see the dookie. What about back here? There's one bike back here. What about this one? Yeah? Yes. Spike. Are you in there? I'm coming for you, Spike. Yes. Spike, I'm coming for you. Alright. Get your gun out. We're gonna have to do some killing in here. I heard listening to something off the Mad No 4 soundtrack and shit. Feel no joy with the broadcast. Fucking OCP is good for nothing. Shit, be quiet. Hold on. Yes. We'll get working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir. Yes. So it's been done. Excuse so me. Just like you used us. We hired us. We fell to the left. That's what we did. We were all. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you knew it. Now it's the poor chance to uh, deal with it, Viper uh, Beach. Uh, uh, you were invited. Let's crush this tin can. The, well, the audio was so bad for a second, but I couldn't hear nothing dude was saying the music was too loud. Shout out to the devs for having a streamer mode. I can lead the music. On the side. Turn that shit off though for now. I ain't gonna lie. That was like it was it was a it was a little loud though. A little loud. I ain't gonna lie. It was all in my ears and shit. Okay, Spike. What did Wendell make you do? <clears throat> you saw it yourself. He needed us to extract brains from corpses. <laughs> Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? <sighs> he would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is he? When? Now? <laughs> uh, my bet it'd be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. Because... <sighs> He's always watching. Operator, requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Oh, right here. I didn't even know this was open. No, there's nothing else in here anyway. Alright, 
Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town. Continuing pursuit. I didn't really... I didn't look everywhere here. I should have. Yeah, like, look, look at this. I almost left this. I thought I was down here before, but that was somewhere else. See, I'm glad I can't. There's two. Look. But I gave me one point because I already had one. But I gave me a whole skill point. Cannot go wrong with that. Okay. What's back here? There's gotta be something else. Uh, isn't that better? Way to go, Robocop. I can hear my thoughts again. I'm glad I went downstairs. Free skill point. Huh? I hate the day shift. <laughs> Let them titties out. Ooh, oh, God, even though I'm hot machine. I. All right, we finished everything we could here. Where to? The courthouse, it says? connect a few fucking cables and now they don't even answer Shh. it's the new guy he's waiting for some big wig to show up He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the big wig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. <laughs> We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. <laughs> I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Robo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble. I mean, I'm just busting bitches down with this. This right here. Let's give him a warm welcome! <laughs> yep, I can shoot off, uh, surfaces. Shoot the... 
That is a game changer. So anybody had behind cover, can shoot surfaces and make it hit them. It's pretty cool bananas. Another glitch. That man, he specializes in glitches. I have no idea where I'm going. Is that, Is that you? you? Come, Come to, to us. us. Yeah, yeah Dad, Dad, we're waiting for you. for you. I'm just gonna walk towards the noise. Somehow I'm back here. I. Seizure warning, please, please, please. Dad, are you, are you coming? coming? Here, Fred. Special offers at Juneberry Mall. Now a free gift for engaged couples. Goldfinch Jewelry has a discount on wedding rings. Choose something special. It's a symbol of your love and something for her to remember you by after you decided to get yourself killed and leave your family all alone, Alice Murphy. Don't hesitate. Come and take advantage of our offer. Never melee attack. I take it'll. I'll take way too much damage getting close enough. Over here, Murphy. Is that you? You. You look different. You're scaring me. I don't like how scary you are now. It's not your dad, kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. That door is locked, so I can't even go that way. Hi, you reached the Vandenberg store. Please leave a message after the tow. The, the remains of my husband. husband. A police, a police officer, officer killed, killed in the line, line of duty. Were you to create some kind of a metal, metal monster. monster? I need I to bury it to move forward with my life. life. Do you Do have you a have funeral, funeral suit that would that fit that, that empty, empty shell? shell. Did you, Did you hear? hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, you're not, not one, one of us, us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not, not human. And, and you're, you're not, not a real cop. cop. You're, you're just, just the rotting remains of Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that, that should never have, have been. been. Something, something that should not exist. exist. 
We have to fix you. We have to erase you. And we will. Just come to us. Come to the rooftop. We're waiting. It's the craft that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will! a little bit, man. What they got going on over here, bro? You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad? Dad? Can you Can fix, you fix the, camera? the camera? I think, I think something's, something's broken. broken. Dad wouldn't miss it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? You got shit to do. This ain't real anyway. Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't move! Welcome, Chaka. Let's, Let's take a stroll to your old home. Do you think you can just go back? Go on. Nothing happened. This, this is a one-family one house, house built by ZM Industries. It's a fail because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What, what is, is your, your sacrifice, sacrifice worth? worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy, destroy them, them before, before they destroy, destroy you. you. Give me a headache, bro. Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you're a machine that's simply using my brain, but that's not true. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. Oh, hold on. We. Oh. You are strong enough to take him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take, Take this, this gift. gift. Don't, Don't forget, forget who, who you are. are. Alex, Alex Murphy. Murphy.
Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any... Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. <laughs> I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... You have the right to an attorney. Hey! I wanted to help you! Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories! But you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know. 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Jeez. The ghost from the past. This isn't right. Is it? Not over yet. Wow. Go to the holding cell. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to play. I knew he'd get him. I just knew. Err. No bitches. Is that the TV personality I keep seeing on tele- It looks like I missed Something the not many people about. know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? I definitely missed a sad quest somewhere. Yeah, attack on the courthouse. I, I didn't even see where that was. It is what it is. I didn't miss. I miss all type of shit, bro. Oh my god. Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. 
How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? Yes, I deserve it. And why is that? I am human. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the Slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Nightmares. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. If it uh, pickles again. Definitely getting sacked. I've got to he got his stupid ass arrested again. Sometimes I'd recognize those foots. What did you do this time? Well, your buddies found me with some nuke that I bought with that money that you let me keep, remember? It turns out that the legal amount that you can carry is zero. Can you believe that? Only an addict would not believe that. That's true, but none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner. But he couldn't last out on the street for more than a few hours before he spent all his money and got busted. Did you hear? The old man. A different level of crackhead right there. Seriously? Be the hand rookie. Actually, I do. Still not used to working with one hand. You'll eventually Murphy, forget about in my office. The first time. Are you yelling? Yeah. When? When you get shot the second. Catching time. Antonowski put a smile right. on a lot of people's faces, but we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. 
Do you suspect that Becker is on Wendell's payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Uh... Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. 